Hey guys, what is up? And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make your Android phone look and feel just like an iPhone on iOS 11 by using a few apps, including Nova Launcher. Now, I actually made a video covering this about six months ago, and since you all seem to enjoy that video so much, I thought I'd bring you an updated version, this time using Nova Launcher, which is not only gonna make your phone feel a lot faster, but also more stable. And ultimately, I think this is the best way of making your phone look like an iPhone if you'd wanna do that for whatever reason. But in this video, I'll show you how to get stuff like the iOS 11 control center, notification center, and just the overall appearance of iOS. So let's not waste any more time and get straight into the video. So to get started, just head into the Play Store and from here we need to download a few apps. The first one is called iNotify Control Panel OS 11, search for that. And it should look like this, so just tap install. Accept, and once it's downloading, you're good to go. Next app is called Control Center iOS 11. Should look like this, tap install. And there's only two more apps we need to download. The next one is called Clean Droid UI. This is an icon pack to give us that iOS style theme. So just tap install for that. And the fourth and final app we need to download is called Nova Launcher, and I'm sure you guys are familiar with this. If not, this is arguably the best launcher on the Play Store, and you can customize it to look any way you want. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to customize it to look exactly like iOS. So while that's downloading, let's go ahead and get our iOS 11 style wallpaper. So just go into Chrome and search for iOS 11 wallpaper, tap on images, select this one right here, tap and hold on it, tap download, and you're good to go. Next step is just wait for these apps to finish downloading. And once they're done, I'll be right back. So now that you've got everything downloaded, let's go ahead and set your wallpaper. Now, as you guys can see, I've already got mine set, but for you, you're probably just gonna wanna tap somewhere on your home screen. This is gonna depend on what phone you have, but just tap on wallpapers. Select your wallpaper, tap set, or whatever option it gives you to set your wallpaper. And from here, just tap on your home button, and you should get this pop-up on your screen asking if you'd like to use your launcher as your main launcher. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna select Nova Launcher, so tap on Nova Launcher, and once you've done that, just tap skip. And if it doesn't set it as your primary launcher, you wanna tap your home button again. You should get this option once again and tap always. Now from here, we can start customizing Nova Launcher to look like an iOS device. So I'm just gonna get rid of any folders or anything on my home screen right now. And I'm gonna go into my app drawer, find the Nova settings app. And from here, we need to change a few things. So first thing you want to do is go into look and feel and set your icon theme to clean droid UI. That's the icon pack we downloaded. Next step is scroll down and disable normalize icon size. Once you've done that, you want to select app animation and change that to zoom to match that iOS style. Next thing is just go back to here and we need to change a few things from here. The first thing is desktop. Tap on desktop and change the desktop grid to be five by four. If it's already set to that, you're good to go. Tap done, and for icon layout, we need to change a couple of things right here. Now first, just turn off shadow, and the next thing you need to do, if you can, is change the icon size to 115%. Now for you, it might be grayed out. In fact, it probably will be. The only reason it's not for me is because I purchased Nova Launcher Prime, which is basically the full version of Nova Launcher. Now you don't have to do that in order to make your phone look like an iOS device, but it's gonna give you a closer look to iOS if you can change that icon size. You don't have to do it, but personally I think the $5 is worth it. So because I purchased that, and for any of you who already have Nova Launcher Prime, just set that to 115%. Go back and from here scroll down to wallpaper scrolling and make sure that's disabled. You also wanna scroll down and enable add icon to home screen, which is basically what iOS does whenever you download a new app. And once you've done that, go back up and set the width padding to large and the height padding to medium. Once you've done that, go back, you're done with desktop, go into dock. And from here, we need to change the dock background to be a rectangle. You also wanna set it to draw behind the navigation bar and set the transparency to around 80%. Set the color to white, that's way it's gonna give you that iOS look. And from here, just go back, and we need to change a couple of things right here. First, change dock icons to four, because that's how many there are on iOS. And change the icon layout to be 115% to match our desktop icons. 
Once again, we need to go back and you just need to set the width padding to large and the height padding to medium. And once you've done that, you're done setting up Nova Launcher and now you can just exit to your home screen. And from here, we can start setting it up to look like an iPhone. So I'm gonna get rid of this search bar. I'm also gonna start adding all of my icons I frequently use to my home screen. And once I've got all my icons added like I do on iOS, I'll be right back. So now we're already getting there, but we need to set up those other apps we downloaded. Now, I am going to mention that you might have noticed I haven't downloaded a keyboard or a lock screen app to match the iOS theme. Now, the reason for that is because personally, I've used apps like those in the past and they always end up being super buggy. And especially for the lock screens, I don't think it's worth it just because your lock screen is supposed to keep your phone secure and ultimately your best bet is just to use the lock screen that came already installed on your device. So that's what I'm doing here, but everything else we can go ahead and set up. So I'm gonna go into here and start by setting up the notification center. So just swipe through all these things, tap next. And once you've done that, tap yes. Now the reason we have to enable this is because obviously it's a notification center so it needs to be able to access our notifications so make sure that's enabled. Tap allow and we can just go back and continue setting it up. So tap enable iNoti and go to customize background and go into your gallery. Tap on gallery and obviously we want to select the wallpaper we downloaded earlier in the video so select that, tap the check mark and you should be good to go. Next step is just to go down to set font text status bar, long name, but basically this is just going to let us set the size of the status bar to match iOS. So I'm setting it to about 13 or 12 or 13, that works. Once you've done that, you should be good to go from here. Next step is just to set up the control center to make it look like iOS. Go into your app drawer and select control center. Once again, we just need to swipe through all this stuff. And once you're in here, go to size, select bottom, and you wanna select the color and make it white to basically just blend into your home screen. Also set the size as large as it'll go. That way you can swipe up from anywhere to access the control center. As you can see, it says request permission, so you need to enable that. So it can customize system settings because obviously it's a control center, it needs to be able to do that. So tap the check mark, and once you've done that, you should be able to use it just like you would on iOS 11. And honestly, I think the developers of this app actually did a really good job. It's very fluid, works very well. You even have 3D touch functionality like you would on iOS. Swipe down, and once you've done that, you should be good to go. You might have an ad, so just skip through there. But that's basically it. That's how you set up your Android phone to look like an iOS device. So just taking a look through everything we've done, if you swipe down here, you have your notification center like you do on iOS. It's that iOS 11 theme, and you can clear all your notifications by tapping on the X. Over here, you also have the option to search for any application on your phone, and if we swipe up, we of course have that iOS 11 control center. All the toggles work perfectly just as they should, and like I mentioned before, if you tap and hold on certain settings, it gives you the option to customize basically get more control over a certain setting, so that's cool, and that's pretty much it. I will mention that if you have the Prime version of Nova Launcher, you can actually set it to swipe down so that you have access to the Spotlight search so you can search for different apps. I'm not gonna go into detail with that because probably most of you will just stick to the free version of Nova Launcher, but honestly, I think this looks pretty close to iOS. Of course, we still have the app drawer like we would on Android. I can't really get rid of that, but but besides that, everything looks pretty good. Now I'm sure you're wondering, how can I get rid of this if I want to basically go back to Android? It's very simple, just go into Nova Settings, swipe down to the bottom, and tap Select Default Launcher. And once you get this pop-up right here, you just wanna select your original launcher. So for me, it's gonna be Launcher 3. Might be something different for you guys, but just tap on any other launcher besides Nova Launcher. Once you do that and you're sent there, you basically just wanna tap on your home button You'll get this option once again like we did before, tap always, and just like that you'll be sent back to stock Android. So that's really as simple as it gets to set up your phone to look like an iPhone. And if I'm being honest, this is my personal favorite and best way to make your phone look like an iPhone just because it's gonna be the most stable, it's gonna give you the best performance, and in some cases it might even give you better performance compared to your stock launchers. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop them in the comment section down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.